It's time to start a new Fantasy Draft franchise here in Madden 24. What's up guys and welcome to episode number one of this brand new Madden 24 uh, Fantasy Draft franchise series. As I always, I've been doing a Fantasy Draft franchise here in Madden, I believe since Madden 21. So Madden 21, 22, 23, and now 24. So this is my fourth Fantasy Draft franchise. Uh, yeah, fourth. Um, and you can see on the screen, there's two teams on the screen, the Rams and the Seahawks. Which means one of the two teams is the team I pick for the use for the fantasy draft, which in the end doesn't really matter except for obviously what you except for for a fantasy draft doesn't really matter except for like the jerseys, the stadium, the playbook. But you can change the playbooks. I did not usually I stick with the team's playbook, whatever team I have. Like last year I had the Jaguars. I used the Jaguars playbook. Two years ago I think I had the Saints, and then three years ago I had the Panthers. Um. And the Panthers, I think I lost the Super Bowl. Saints, I won the Super Bowl. And then the Jaguars, I lost the Super Bowl. So let's try to win a Super Bowl with, drumroll, the Los Angeles Rams. Obviously, it was between the Rams and the Seahawks, like I said. It's the Rams, as we are in Seattle, here in Week 1, to play the Seahawks in Seattle. Um, we're an 85 offense, 87 defense, and, and an 85 overall. The Seahawks, on the other end, 77 offense, 85 defense, and an 80 overall. So we have a plus... 8 for offense, a plus 2 for defense, and a plus 5 for overall. So we should win this game, but that, I mean, obviously the Seahawks defense is much better overall-wise than their offense. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you the team quickly before I, uh, I talk to the media about opening their keys and then set the, well, let's actually set the season goal first, uh, and then I'll show you the roster, and then I'll speak, uh, speak to the media about opening their keys. Uh, so have four wins, seven wins, make the playoffs, or win the Super Bowl. In my Packers franchise, I did make the playoffs, and I'm going to do that here in this series. So it's an aggressive goal. And you feel that your current roster is a playoff contender with an outside chance at a deep playoff run. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to say I'm going to win the Super Bowl. Hopefully we do, but I'm not going to have that as our season goal. Our season goal will be will be uh, to make the playoffs. So let's commit. Make the playoffs is our goal. Obviously, our real goal is to win the Super Bowl, but I'm not going to have that at you as our actual goal. At, actual goal. At least make the playoffs. But hopefully, we can win, hopefully we can win the big game. But obviously, it's week one, brand new season. Um, I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you uh, the, um, the roster like this because it's much better to look through. Uh, as all these players... I, I did the first maybe like 20 rounds, and then I simmed the rest, and then I made one trade on defense. So I have Le Chris, I think, L Lino Jr., left tackle, 82 overall. Benito, 92 left guard. And then I have Fraud Hold, I might be botching that name, it's a 65 overall center. I, I didn't draft the center. And then I have Low Towski, uh, 74 overall right guard. And then right tackle, I have Oh, uh, And then we have Tyler Hid at that right tackle. We have Arafaro. And then tight end, we have Tyler Hidby. And then this Tremel. And then we also have Wright. I don't know who his right is. And then we have, at wide receiver, Mike Evans. He's tall. We also have Oldo Beckham Jr. And then we have this Aidwell. And then... And then at running back, same running back as my fantasy draft franchise at Madden 23, it's Derrick Henry. I had him as my running back last year with the Jaguars, who, like I said, lost the Super Bowl to the Lions. It was a shootout. I think I lost it like by like three points. It was, it was a it was like there was a total of like 80 or 90 points scored between the two teams, and I lost by 30. It was devastating. And then quarterback is Russell Wilson. I wish I got a better quarterback, but I got picked like number 20 in the draft. So, like, by the time you did the pit 20, like, Mahomes, um, Jatson, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jatson, Justin Herber, and all those good quarterbacks are gone. I could have pit Aaron Rodgers, and then I waited too long to get Aaron Rodgers, and then he was gone. But I still got Russell Wilson, and then, and then I got Teddy Bridgewater as a backup, and then we have Nick Foles. I didn't pit Nick Foles, the computer did, but we also have Nick Foles. As a third string quarterback, and then Jamal Williams, that's just our second string running, second string running back, and then I have, uh, uh, he's a second, he's a running back, our second string running back, um, and then, and then, and because he's 
a second string running second string running back. Uh, the computer put him at fullback, which is perfectly fine. So he'll run the ball on a fullback dive, or or on a you know he'll run the ball on a fullback dive, or if I take Henry out of the game for a few plays, and then over on, on wide receiver too, I have Tyler Lockett, who obviously were, was teammates with Russell Wilson on the Seahawks, as Russell Wilson will be playing his former team um, here in Week One, and then we also have Brandon Cutts, and then there's Dutton. So, I mean, a wide receiver core, wide receiver one and two, both are A's. I mean, that's good. And then on defense, we have Tyron Matthew at free safety. We have Ingram at right, right outside linebacker. Bobby Wagner at middle linebacker. And then the other middle linebacker is Stolbert. And then we have Leonard at left outside linebacker. Harrison Smith at strong safety. And then we have Peters, M. Peters at cornerback. And Eli, Eli Apple. And then we have Audrey... Uh, left end, Tenny Clark at uh, defensive tackle. That's the one trade I made. I think I gave up. I'm trying to. I gave up three pits. I think I. I think I gave up a. I think it was a first and third for this year and a third for next year. And then I got Tenny Clark in return and a first and third for this year. So really, yes, I did trade a first and third for this year, but I got a first and third back for this year. It would just. It was just like 10 pits later in both cases where I had pit 10, let's say, and then they had pit 20. And then, say, in the third round, they had pit, like, what, like, 90, and they had pit 100. So I, I only moved back, like, 10 spots for the first and third round, and then that's NFL draft. And then I gave up also a third-round pit for next year. But it was, a, it was a pretty good trade. 86 overall defensive tackle. And then Aaron Donald. This is this is my first overall pit. Uh, we had pit, like, 20 or something. I picked Aaron Donald. Obviously, in real life, he's on the Rams. Obviously, in this game, he's also on the Rams because I picked him and I'm the Rams. But, I mean, I had to do it because all the quarterbacks were gone. And there was, like, Travis Kelsey. But, like, I mean, Aaron Donald, one of the players on the 99 club. I mean, I had to do it. I mean, 99 overall, right end. I mean, he won a Super Bowl with the Rams a couple of years ago when they beat the Bengals. And then we have Patrick Peterson, who's pretty uh, on the older side, like 35-ish, at the other cornerback position. But, I mean, cornerback 1, B-, minus, corner, cornerback 2, B. And then, obviously, you have the right end, A+, plus, defensive tackle, B+, plus, left end, B. And then you have free safety and strong safety, both A. Middle linebacker, A-, minus, C+, plus, and then, and then B+, plus for right outside linebacker and left outside linebacker. And... You're surely. I think I've. I think I've got Justin Tucker as our kicker like, in last year, and I think two years ago too. So then the this Matt, I think I've had Justin Tucker as our kicker in my fantasy draft franchise in Madden 22 and Madden 23 because he's just good. I mean, 99 kick accuracy, 99 kick power, holds the record for the longest field goal, 66 yards. He hit back in 2021 in Detroit to win the game. Um, and then Johnny Hector. I think I had my. I think I had him as my punter last year. In real life, I think he's now under in the lead. He might be. I don't know. He might be a free agent. And then he was the Rams punter, uh, I think, like, six, seven years ago when the Rams were still in St. Louis. And then uh, and then Tucker has the kickoffs. Benito, who's the what, left guard, is actually the lawn, snap, lawn snapper on punts. Uh, and then OBJ is the kick returner. And then Lockett is the punt returner. So, yeah. But, I mean, this, is, I, I, this team definitely has a... This team definitely has... Or, this team, on paper at least, has the ability to get to the Super Bowl. Now, let's speak to the media about keys to win on, winning on opening day. And then we'll get into the game. Sorry, it's like nine minutes into the video already, but I had to show you the roster and all that good stuff. But, so, um... It's opening day this week and a fresh start for every team around the league and you'll be facing the Seahawks. What's your key to victory? Let's do stifle on defense. Now all sets with defense. We plan on making their offense uncomfortable and keeping them off the scoreboard as much as possible. And by the way, I did use a custom coach because obviously that is not Sean McVay. Um, I used Dash C. Uh, I traded a custom coach and named him Dash C. And that is obviously him, him right there uh, at the podium. Uh, you mentioned Major in their offense uncomfortable. What does, where does that start? Disrupting the passing 
or stifle on the run. Let's disrupt and disrupt in the pass. We want to control the skies. Great pass defense leads to a lot of great things and makes it much harder for them to score and win the game. So I, I probably need like beat the Seahawks, allow allow less than 200 yards passing. Uh, focus your defensive game plan on passing to help achieve your goal. Okay, so we got hold uh, whoever the Seahawks quarterback is, which I'm gonna you'll find out. I will find out, and you guys will find out when we get into the game. But we got hold whoever their quarterback is, the less than 200 less than 200 yards passing. Well, here we go. Uh, the game is in Seattle. It is a Sunday late game, so the game is at 4:25 Eastern, 3:25 Central in Seattle at Lumen Field. Uh, it is Lumen Field now. Um, so, yeah. Stiff. Play for Dame, obviously. Six minute quarters, by the way. Six minute quarters. The difficulty is all pro. The play call is enhanced. And the Dame style is simulation. We're in 85 overall. They're in 80. They have Fred Warner, Mika Fitzpatrick, Tehran Armstead, who's a left tackle. Fitzpatrick's a free safety. And Fred Warner is a middle linebacker. But, uh, yeah. So I have Aaron Donald, who has the Blitz Ed Spather. Derrick Henry has a Freight Train Ed Spather. And then Mike Evans has Double Me. Well, here we go. Game 1, or excuse me, Week 1 uh, against the Seahawks. It is Game 1, too, but Week 1, Game 1 um, in Seattle. NFC West Rivals. And remember, Russell Wilson is playing his former team. Let's watch the presentation. Alan Roach. It's Pete Carroll. The real life week one is a week from today. At least a week from today uh, for me. That might be Jared Goff. I think that's Jared. I think Jared Goff is the quarterback for the Seahawks. But like I said, week one in real life is a week away. For me. I was right. Looked like him and the numbers. So it's Jarrett Goff and the Seahawks versus Russell Wilson and the Rams. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry, it's like 13 minutes into the video and I haven't, I haven't even started playing yet. But I had to show you the roster, so this might be a longer video. Hopefully, it's only like 40, 50 minutes. Hopefully, it's not, no more than that. Hopefully, uh, let's say they did the ball first, which I'm perfectly fine with. Um, so yeah, week one, 2023 season. These shadows are kind of interesting. Wind to six miles per six miles per the wind to six miles per hour, blowing from left to right. Tucker is actually kicking off here. And we're on your way in the 2023 season. Here we go. The 2023 season is on your way, and it starts with a touchback. And the Chiefs, who obviously won the Super Bowl last year, uh, obviously hosted the Lions on Thursday Night Football. Um, and, um, well, that game is this Thursday. Uh, in real life, obviously, in this game, it's already been played, and the Chiefs beat the Lions in Kansas City 17-7. I mean, the Lions are going to get some respect if they can win against the Chiefs. That would be huge if they can win against the Chiefs in real life. Uh, or at least be competitive. But especially if they win, they'll shock the world and get some respect. Here we go. First play of the season. It's a run by number eight. And their running back is Robinson. Um, Brian Robinson, I'm pretty sure, Jr. Not four. Like I said, six-minute quarters. Here we go. And Goff is playing. So, Russell Wilson's playing his former team. And Jared Goff is also playing his former team. So, um, obviously, in real life, Wilson's now on the Broncos. And in real life, Goff is now on the, what, the Lions. But, yeah, both Torbett's playing their former team. Here's a throw wide open. And four yards, first down for Seattle. Their first first down of the game and the season. So, that ain't good. Here we go. Jaguars beat the Colts in Indy 37-31. Patrick Mahomes is the Jaguars quarterback. 
Here's a throw. That ball's taunt. Yeah, and then J Jimmy G's the Colts quarterback, and Patrick Mahomes is the Jaguars quarterback. Last year, Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes was on the Texans in my fantasy draft franchise last year. Here we go, and didn't blown up was Robinson, and it's Tenny Clark, who we got via trade from uh, the Buccaneers uh, for, like I said, that first and third round pick this year, and a third round pick for next year, and we got in return Tenny Clark, and then a first and then a first and third round pick this year as well. We just moved that ten spots, or ten pits, give or take, both times, and now it's fourth down as that receiver wasn't looking. He was open, but. He wasn't looking, so good stand. Um, and here's the punt by Anger, Brian Anger. I can see his um, jersey, and then I know his first name is Anger. Good blocking, boys. And now Lockett, former Seahawk, got something out of nothing. Up to the 27-yard line, and here comes the former Seahawk, Russell Wilson. The 49ers beat the Steelers in Pittsburgh 23-2. to So the only points the Steelers got was on a safety. So, yeah. Seahawks won by, or not Seahawks, 49ers beat the Steelers, the 49ers beat the Steelers in Pittsburgh, uh, 23-2, so the only points the Steelers got was on a safety. Here we go, and it's going to run for Derrick Henry, who I, who's on my fantasy draft franchise last year, because he can literally truck people and stiff arm the crap out of you. Five yards, Washington beat Arizona, 28-21. Justin Herbert's on the Cardinals. And we go second and five. Here we go. There's a throw. That was the Henry, and he dropped it. So now it is. Let's go with Bench Hammer. It is now third down. Here we go. Here we go. And now here's a throw over the middle. Brandon cuts. Wide open, first down. First first down of the day and the season for the Rams. 25 yards to the Seattle 43. First down LA. The Bears beat the Packers 42-28 um, in Chicago. But obviously remember it's a fancy draft franchise, so I'd obviously Jordan Love's not on the Packers. Justin Fields not on the Bears. Um, so remember that. Same, I mean, like the only player between these two teams that actually are on their on a say that there's not there's not that many players in this fantasy that franchise that are actually on their the, the same team they are in real life, except for Aaron Donald, of course. Um, I picked him first. Here's uh, Jamal Williams, and he got a yard. It's now third and five. But Aaron Rodgers, I'm pretty sure he's on the Raiders. I'm pretty sure he was on the Raiders last year too. Pretty sure he was. Uh, Jalen Hurts is on the on the Lions. Here we got a third and five, and here's a throw. That ball is going to be caught, and there's a flag. I'm not sure if it got the first down. It's close, and they're going to call unnecessary roughness for a late hit out of bounds. So he was short, but it's a moot point. Unnecessary roughness for an, uh, for a late hit out of bounds. That's why the flag came out. 15 yards and an automatic first down for that late hit out of bounds. That was questionable. I probably would have went for it, though, if, if there wasn't that penalty. Falcons beat the Panthers in Atlanta, 31-30. Here we go. And now here's a throw. Got it away. It's caught. Mike Evans is in. Touchdown, Rams. The first touchdown of the season for L.A. comes on a passing touchdown. Uh, uh, as, as the first touchdown of the year for L.A. comes on a passing touchdown. By, by Russell Wilson to Mike Evans. Russell Wilson to Mike Evans for the TD. And the Rams strike first in week one. As Russell Wilson to Mike Evans and the Rams strike first in week one here in Seattle. And the extra point by Tucker is right down Broadway. And it's 7-0 in Rams. 48 seconds to down in the first quarter. As we forced a punt and then we went down and scored a touchdown. Brown, uh, Bengals beat the Browns in Cleveland, 42-39. Obviously, where I'm getting that score from is the bottom of the screen right there, if you're wondering. If you, didn't, if you don't see that, you should, but this, those scores of the other games and the games in progress are down at the bottom there. Uh, down at the bottom right there. 
Here we go. So here we go. We forced a punt, and then we got a touchdown. Let's keep it going here, folks. Here we go. Well, a little trickery, but I only got two. That was a forward pass. Buccaneers beat the Vikings in Minnesota, 31-24. Let us say, let us, like I've been saying, there's not that many players. There's probably only like a handful that actually are on the are on the same team they are in real life. There's a screen. It's a fumble and picked up by LA as as it's Henry who picked up the fumble and we take over at the 16. As it was a screen pass, but Goff didn't hit the ball away in time, then fumbled it after. So he didn't hit the ball away in time. Goff, as Goff didn't throw the ball on the screen in time, then he then he got sacked because he didn't throw it in time, and then he lost the ball. So it was a strip sack, and a fumble, and then a fumble recovery by LA. So a strip sack and then a fumble recovery, and it's a jet sweep for Brandon Cutts, which might be a mistake. But uh, let's see. Here's a jet sweep. That worked. Uh, I don't know why I sp spun, but six yards, second down and four. Five seconds to go in the quarter. That will be the end of the first. That will be the end of the first quarter. Seven up in Rams, and the Rams are on the doorstep. As we're up seven zero, the Rams are, and they're also at the Seahawks 11 yard line. You know, stepping in four from the 11, trying to get up by a couple touchdowns. Here's Henry. Henry. Hit his own offensive lineman, third and two. Third and two. Now there's a throw, it's caught, touchdown! Odell Beckham Jr. And the Rams are up by 13. As the Rams are up 13-0 here in Seattle. As we're up by a Baker's dozen. It was Wilson to Evans and then Wilson to OBJ. And we're up 13-0. Uh, half a minute into the second quarter. And the PAT by Tucker is right there. Or it's through the upright. It's 14-0. Three plays, 16 yards, 47 seconds. As we turn that uh, fumble or that strip sack uh, into a touchdown. Uh, so the wind's now going the other direction because we switched ends for the second quarter. Uh, 5.27 to go in the half, and we're up 14-0, and we did the ball after halftime. Now it'll be another touchdown. Joe Burrow, by the way, is the Panthers quarterback. Um, and the Rams do play the Panthers this year. Here is a throw. That ball's caught, and he might be gone. And he might be gone, and he is gone. A 75-yard touchdown for the Seahawks, and the Seahawks are on the board. As that was a one play, 75 yards, and a touchdown. And the Seahawks, one play later, are on the board, and they're within eight. And here's the PAT. And the kick is good, and it's a seven-point game as the Seahawks cut our lead in half. It's now 14-7 Rams. So it was a punt, a strip sack, and then a one-play touchdown for Seattle. Now here's OBJ with his first kick return of the year. And OBJ is a former Ram, obviously won the Super Bowl with the Rams along with Aaron Donald um, in 2021. Obviously now he's on the... Ravens? I think. I don't know. But obviously OBJ tore his ACL in the Super Bowl. But he still won it though because the Rams still won the game. Here we go. Here's a throw down the field! And I forced out one incomplete though. Here we go. Here we go. There's a run by Henry. Henry! Hit his own guy, but he got nine and a half yards, and like, or nine yards and two feet, two and a half feet, because now it's third and inches. Here we go. Here we go, Wilson. 
is going to run for He's got it. First down. Five yards. First down, L.A. I, I'm, I'm by the way, I did have Russell Wilson as my quarterback in Madden 21, and then it was Mahomes in Madden 22, and then Derek Carr in Madden 23, and now it's Russell Wilson again here in Madden 24. Here's a throw towards the sideline! Get mossed! As that was Lockett! As Lockett did make the catch, what a play. First down. And here we are, it's Henry. Henry, oh, what? what's the flat? Is that a hold? And that flat came down almost after he was, when he was already down, but they're going to call holding on Benito. Betonio, not Benito. Betonio, excuse me. Um, first and 18, though, as we backed it up to the 43. Bootleg. A bootleg for Wilson, and what a throw! Mike Evans with a great catch. Wilson with a great throw. Got two feet down. And he's down to the 19. Now Henry. And he's down to the 15. Let's do a screen. It's the Williams. Jamal Williams, half that slip screen, and I tried to stay in bounds, so only got two yards out of that. So I had to avoid that one die, and now let's go with Flood here. Third and four from the 13. Here we go. Died it to the nine for a first. Wilson. Wilson throws it to the end zone, and it's caught! Touchdown! And it's Brandon Cuts! As Wilson found him, and he was R1 in the end zone. That was his button. I pressed R1 on the run, Wilson. As I hit R1 while Wilson was on the run, he threw it to Brandon Kutz on the run. And Kutz uh, bopped out his defender and made the catch for the touchdown. And it's now 27, or it's now 20 to 7 Rams. Here's Tucker. And he is now 3-for-3 three three on PATs, and we're up by 14 again. 21-7 Rams. As we have three drives, three touchdowns. And now Seahawks, 157 on the clock. They have all three timeouts, down by 14. And, and remember, we did the ball after halftime. And we have three touchdowns. One to Mike Evans, one to OBJ, and one to Brandon Cutts. All passing touchdowns. So Wilson, three passing touchdowns. Evans, OBJ, and then Cuts. Here we go. Here we go! And, oh my goodness, almost a sack and almost a pick. Send it down. Here we go. Plenty of time over the middle. That ball's caught. About 11. First down. Jared Goff, 5 for 7, 100 yards and a TD, which is a 75-yard touchdown. No huddle for Seattle. And Goff is sacked by Aaron Donald, his former teammate. And that's his second sack of the game. So that means his other sack was, as Aaron Donald has uh, two sacks, the first sack must have been the strip sack. So, two sats already in the first half for Aaron Donald as he sats um, Jarrett Goff, his former teammate. Second and 16. Goff gets it away. And he bro I just went right by him. Third down. I'm going to call a timeout because I want the ball back. 108 to go. It's now third down. Should have been like third and like 10 instead of like, or third and 12 instead of third and 8 because I ran right by the die. Third and 8 now. Paint the stop, get the ball back, because our offense is kind of unstoppable right now. Here's a throw, that ball's caught, and he's going to be short. And I believe he would die out of bounds, because the clock stopped with 102 to go. It's fourth and three. And he did get out of bounds, so it saved a timeout. 102 to go. Third, or second punt for Seattle. They have what, a punt, a fumble loss, and a, 
And then a uh, touchdown, then another punt. Here's Lockett, and he's tackled at the 19. We don't need a touchdown. It would be nice to do a field goal. We definitely need to put the game away if we can store it here. Even a field goal and then store after halftime. Two timeouts. Still made a mistake here. And I threw an interception. Yeah, right when I... And it's intercepted by Warner, and... Yeah. Right when I said don't make a mistake, I threw the ball almost into double coverage, and Warner, the middle linebacker, picked it off. We're fine, boys. We're fine. Here we go. Here's a throw, and that ball's caught down to the 12. Seattle calls their first time out. That's a play where even if we don't score... Yeah. Yeah. I just got... I got trigger happy. Or... Yeah, it's sure happy. Here we go. Stepping down. And plenty of time. Throw to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Seahawks. My defender was just staring at him. And 38 seconds to go, and it's an eight point game again. We do get the ball after halftime, but I'm not trying to store it in here in the first half, but make sure I don't throw another pitch. As that interception led to a touchdown two plays later. And it's 21 14 late in the first half. We're fine, boys. We're fine. Here we go. A short kick. Returned by OBJ from the three. And OBJ is up to the 20 sets. 34 seconds to go. We have two timeouts. I'm going to try to do something again. And just not throw an interception. Here we go. Here we go. Here's a throw. Uh, okay, that two yards. We need to get something more than two yards. Here we go. I mean, we can get a field goal. One time out, 28 seconds. Here we go. Here's a throw. Wilson! And that almost was picked off again. So it's four verticals. Third and eight now. Here's a throw, one-on-one, -on -one, and that's going to be a penalty. As Evans drew the penalty, his flans come down, and it's going to be defensive pass interference. Uh, I think that that's the same guy who had the penalty earlier, and it's a 40-yard penalty. It's a spot foul, and we're at the Seahawks 32, 17 seconds to do. Is. Now we're on the edge of field goal range. And now there's a throw! And it's inaccurate because he was hit. But he might have had him if he was. He might have had him. So 12 seconds here. Now there's a throw. Mike Evans lined up as a running back. As he got six, four yards. It's third and six. Eight seconds. So I'm going to do another play here. One timeout. So even if it's tackle on balance, just call a timeout here. Here we go. And there's a throw. That ball is caught by Hidby at the eight yard line as he mossed like two guys. Two seconds, and we're going to try to take the field goal here. 25 yard field goal for Tucker as he's taking it from the 15, obviously, from the right hash. I mean, it should be, but remember the wind's right to left, six miles per hour. It'll be up by 10 at the half. And the tit by Tucker is right down Broadway as L.A. is up 24-14 at the half. And here's Jonathan Hutchman, 24-14 Rams at the half. And we did the ball after halftime.
And we know second half in Seattle. We're up 24-14, and we did the ball. So, here we go. We're up by 10, 12 minutes to go, because like I just said, it's six-minute quarters. This game's definitely not over. Second half begins. Here's OBJ, and he's up to the 19. That was not a good return at all. Um, here we go. Let's start with an inside zone. There's Henry. Henry. That was one of the defensive players. I think it's Warner who had the interception as the X factor now because there's that X below his feet. Or at least he did. Now he doesn't. Um, here we go. There's a throw. Up in the air! And Kutz had it but dropped it. As I said, Wilson has three touchdowns. I said, Evans, OBJ, and then Kutz. And now it's third and five here. Here we go. And there's a throw, and it's caught by Henry! As I thought that was going to be pipped off, or at least he was going to be tackled short, but he caught it and got the first down. First down, Rams. Now here's Henry, and Henry, whoa! Seven rushes, 33 yards for Henry, but that's it. And then Williams that then has a few rushes. Here we go, there's Henry. And he only got a couple. And there's... Here we go, and now there's a throw, and that ball's picked off as, the, as he was on the run. And then Wilson missed the tackle, and then offensive, an offensive lineman tackled him. But Kay Hamilton with the pitch. As the time was open, just the only problem was, only problem was that Wilson was on the run, it was inaccurate, and then it was picked off. And then they take it over at the 20-yard line. And now it's an end-around. Good tackle by, I believe that's Harrison Smith. Second and nine. Two interceptions. I've come. Obviously, the first one will do a touchdown. Second one, hopefully, we can keep them to a field goal. Here's another run. That's only the that's only the set. Well, fourth run, not fourth run for Robinson. Here we go. Third and four now. Three minutes to go in the third. And now here's a throw as the last clip ended, and then I started it right when they snapped the ball, and it's a catch first and goal from the three. As should have paused the game when the clip the last clip ended. And then I started it again, but then they snapped it right when I started it. First and goal now from the three. It's a run up the middle, and he is in as he thrust his way in. And Seattle is within four. It's now 24-20. As at one point, wasn't it what? Wasn't it what, 21-7? And then 24-14, but now it's 24-21 as that PAT is good. As at, yeah, at one point it was what? 21 or At one point it was 21-7. And then 24-14. And now it's 24-21. So at one point we were up by what? Two touchdowns. And then and we were up by 14 points and 10 points. And now we're only up by three points. And now here's OBJ up to the 25. 214 to go. We need a touchdown drive here. Because after the interception and the field goal to end the half. But then now another interception. Here we go. Here's a throw, it's Henry. Henry! Try to try to stiff arm instead of... Uh, so he got sits with forward progress. 168 yards, three touchdowns, and two interceptions for Russell Wilson. Obviously, the first three drives, we had touchdowns, and since then we have, what, an interception, and a field goal, and a half, and then now another interception. Here's a throw, and Hidby's got it! First down. Obviously, Hippie was on the Bengals when the Bengals lost to the Rams in the Super Bowl. And now he's on the Rams. Now here's Henry. Looking that it something started. Uh, he got four. He has 39 rushes on nine... 39 yards on nine rushes. Here we go. And I tried to throw it away. I hit the throw away button, but 
I was sacked before I he could throw it away. And now it's third and a mile. It's third and twenty three. We now get to I think like the forty seven for a first. And now there's a throw over the middle and it's picked off again. And now he is gone. Pitt sits and Seattle has the lead. And that's three pits for Russell Wilson. This one's a pit sits. And Seattle has their first lead. That's three turnovers for LA. One for Seattle, which is that strip sack. And now the PAT is almost blocked. But it's good. And now we're down 28-24. And that's actually the end of the quarter. Uh, we headed the fourth quarter with the Rams down by four. It's now 28-24 Seahawks. We, they scored 14 in the. They scored 14 points in the in the third quarter. They were now at 24-14, and now they're up 28-24. As we had a 10-point lead, now it's a four-point deficit. Here's OBJ as the momentum has definitely shifted. As we had, yeah, at one point we had a 14-point lead, then 10 points, then three points. And now it's a four, now we're losing by four. Three pits for Russell Wilson after three touchdowns. So three touchdowns and then three pits. Here we go, and here's Williams. Williams, there he goes. As yeah, out of the last four drives, Wilson has thrown three interceptions. Here we go. This is not good. Here's Henry. Henry, there it. And it's going to be a first down. He has 43 rushes, 43 yards on 10 rushes. That's ain't good at all. And it's going to be a, it's going to be setting down. Kind of done shot to throw it now because another pick to end this game. There's only 4.53 to go. We're still down by four. Here's Henry. Henry is going to make it third and five. But at this point, it's a four round territory. Here's a throw to Mike Evans, and it's picked off again. Meet the Fitzpatrick. And that's four interceptions in the last five drives for Wilson. As he had three touchdown passes, now he has four interceptions in the last five drives. And they take over at the nine yard line. Up by four. And, and here's a throw. That ball is caught. First down. Goff, 162 yards and two touchdowns. Only two incomplete passes. But this game definitely has flipped. Around as we, I mean, we had momentum and we were on all cylinders in the first half, but now in the second half, it's been all Seahawks and some my three interceptions. Here we go, and there's a throw. That ball's caught. I mean, this was not good. I, I mean, I literally had all. Let's go. So down to the 39. And I want to clock here, too, because we, this is not good. Come on. Man, just, like, let him just, like, keep passing it. This is not good. Just now, they're going to try to run the clock. I mean, a few more first downs, they can run the clock out. <sighs> this is devastating right now. Two and a half to go. I mean, they're still throwing it, and we still can't stop it. I mean... One more first down. That's not that it's the two-minute warning. I have three timeouts, but we gotta stop it. Two-minute warning. Seahawks up by four, letting them run out the clock, while the Rams are letting to stop them to try to get the ball back. But here we go. This ain't good. And it, even if we stop them, they they might get a. And there we go. As timeout number one, as they. There we go. Good, good job, boys. And again! Let's go. Third and 11, second time it used for LA. Come on, let's make a stop here. They're not necessarily, they're not necessarily in field goal range here.
And there's a throw! You got... Oh, it's fourth down. It's fourth and a yard. But you gotta bat that down. It's, it's fourth and one. Will they go for it or will they tip it? Uh, yeah, they're not going to go for it. Here we go. This is the game right here. Stop him! And we stopped him! No! No! We got it! We got the ball! We stopped him! On fourth down! As it said first down at the top, but then the, air, the arrow is now pointing to L.A. So we stopped him. The defense did it. And that's Kenny Clark. And now we, gotta, we need a touchdown. No timeouts. 140 sits on the clock here. And this guy in stride. It's Hidby. And Hidby out of bounds. Second in inches. But we have a chance to snatch this game out of, despite all this, despite the four interceptions, can we did a game winning touchdown. Man. Okay, we got a first down. No huddle, though. No huddle, no huddle. Here we go. And I can't get out of bounds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, whatever. Here's a throw, and that ball is almost picked off. My goodness. I wish my guy could do something. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't like this play. Oh, there we go. Here we go. I'm going to run for it. Wilson, out of bounds. At the 40 sets of Seattle. Come on. Here we go. Damn. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, 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 you need to get out of bounds? And now there's one second. Man, why, how do you not get out of bounds? And now, no, I don't want to do that. Here we go, we're at the 35, so it's not really a Hail Mary. I mean, it's so somewhat, here we go. Here we go. And there's a throw to the end zone, and it's picked off. And Seattle wins it. As it's five interceptions for Wilson, and Seattle comes back to win. As, yeah, first three drives, three touchdowns. And then after that, five interceptions on six drives. After the five interceptions, and then the one field goal at the end of the first half. But, man... I had to throw it up there, though, but some of those interceptions were self-inflicted. That one, I had to force it because, I mean, if he caught it, we would have won, but unfortunately, the defender caught it, but five interceptions. I mean, that was pathetic. Wilson, I mean, yeah, three touchdowns, but then on three drives, and then after that, sits, or and then after the three touchdowns on the three drives, Five interceptions on six drives. And then the one interception, that, the one drive that there was no interception was the field goal. As I mean, we made the stop on defense. They hit the ball back on fourth down. and But poor clock management. We couldn't, But I was trying to get out of bounds, but couldn't. Then I threw it away with one second. And then threw it up to the end zone at the on the final play, but it was picked off. Yeah. Well, that was bad. That was so bad. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if you, I mean, just, it was really bad. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, it was just all us. I mean, it was 24-14 Rams at the half, and then in the second half, Seahawks scored 14 points, all in the third quarter. Neither team scored in the fourth. But that that 42-yard pit sits was the difference. I'm done. Uh, yeah. Of course I lost, too. And I just threw five interceptions. Ugh. Well, Ramstar 0 1, 
we'll be fine though. Next episode will be um I'm not sure what game it's gonna be for the Rams, but you guys will find out what game it is in the next episode. Hopefully we can win that game because this is not a good game at all. Well it was until the second half. Until your uterus fell out. <sighs> Please stop. Well um, so yeah, we're all in one, Seance one and oh, um yeah. You guys will find out what game uh will be in that in the or you'll find out in the next you'll find out in the next vid in the next episode uh what game I'm gonna be playing. It's probably gonna be like week five or week six, give or take, it would be something like that. Um so yeah, it'll be week pro it'll be somewhere around week four, week five, maybe week six, something like that. It depends also who we're playing because I didn't look at the schedule. But um yeah, that's pretty much it. I still hope you enjoyed this video despite all that stuff. I mean, we, we almost won there at the end. It just, it just, it just didn't happen. It was, it was, well, it was pitted off at the horn or at the buzzer. Um, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We still have 16 names to know. I still hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. That's up to the like button. Subscribe if you haven't, subscribe if you haven't yet. Tell your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, pets, and friends about these videos. And you, know, and you know what, I'm going to see you in episode number two of this uh, Los Angeles Rams Madden 24 Fantasy Draft Franchise series. See you in episode number two. And you got a bait in. And go Rams.